Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have an awesome featured seller, and this video has 20 bolos for you, and this is a member of my Facebook group. If you are not a member of my Facebook group down below, I have a link. Be sure to check it out. And this is how a featured seller video works. If you would like to be featured, please contact me through Facebook Messenger. And I'm going to get started here, and we are going to check out these bolos. Okay, the first one is this Wrinkles Hound Dog Plush. And this is from 1986, so it's not super, super old. It has a small black stain on the edge of its tongue. And this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And this was purchased at the Goodwill Bins for approximately $2. The Goodwill Bins is um, uh, the Goodwill Outlet, and it's based on weight. So you pay per pound. So this was approximately $2. The next is this, I think it's pronounced Maya wrap, and it's a baby sling carrier. And this was purchased at the Goodwill bins for $1.50 approximately, and it sold for $40.50 with free shipping. So that is a very good bolo. I feel like that's something we could find like at a garage sale or um, maybe an estate sale. I don't know. Probably a garage sale more than an estate sale. Even like, um, a consignment shop or a kid's uh, like what are those like Plato's closet and all those different little consignment shops might find them there too pretty cheap probably not a dollar fifty cheap but you know uh, these are vintage exhaust men's jeans how fun are these um, I'm guessing what sold these is that they're just pretty funky Anyway, these sold for $44.99 with free shipping, and they were purchased at the Goodwill bins for approximately $3. Okay, so this one's kind of cool. It's not a huge bolo, but it's a hotel towel, a Flamingo Hotel Casino towel. Oh, I lied. It's not a towel. It's a blanket. It looks so small. Okay, it's a blanket. Disregard. It looks... Okay, there we go. It is a blanket. I thought it was a hand towel when I first saw it, but still, either way, um, this was purchased at the Goodwill bins for approximately, or no, I'm sorry, $2. It was $2. I think all the blankets and comforters and stuff like that are $2 at this bins. And it, this one, they ended up taking a best offer of 15 and then the buyer paid shipping. So that wasn't a huge bolo, but turning $2 and 15 is still not, I, I mean, she probably still made 10 bucks, so that's still decent. Okay, the next one is this vintage keeper house. Never heard of it. Do his eyes. Oh, wow. Check it out. His eyes glow. How cute is that? Um, best offer of $33. Got it at the Goodwill bins for two. And the buyer paid the shipping. So super cute. Never seen one of those. The next item is this vintage blue crushed velvet bedspread. And this was from the Goodwill bins for $2 and best offer of 55 plus shipping. Okay. Sorry. I had to pause the video. You probably didn't know that, but I kind of forget where I was. So, um, Goodwill bins purchased for $2, best offer of $55 plus shipping. And you can see here it even has a small stain. See picture two. And I can't really see it. But I guess it's by this coin. Do you guys see it? Anyway, I'm guessing it's probably not super noticeable. So definitely a nice little bolo there. Okay, so this is super cool. It's a Suicide Squad Harley Quinn bomber jacket. Very, very different. I think it's super cool. I wouldn't wear it, but I still think it's cool. It'd be a cool thing to find to sell. How about that? Um, Goodwill Bins purchased for a dollar thirty, and it sold for forty nine fifty with free shipping. Okay, so this is a little Christmas ornament cookie cutter. Um, I'm gonna just zoom in for you. It says cookie cutter but maybe it's just because it's small. I don't know. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's within the ornament there. Okay, that makes sense. 
1991 on the packaging and this sold for $27 with free shipping and it was purchased at the Goodwill bins for 25 cents. The next one is this Wise Walker Stash That Poop Bag Pouch hmm, or Dog Treat Training Bag. Okay, if you use it for poop, don't use it for your treats. Nice. Anyway, I would not think that this would go for a lot of money. Um, and some of you might not think $19.99 is a lot of money, but this came from the Goodwill bins for $0.25. Cents, so $0.25 cents turned into $19.99. To me, that is a pretty good bolo and not something I would have expected to sell for around $20. Bucks. So definitely be on the lookout for this poop bag pouch by Wise Walker. Okay, the next one is this um, Leslie Sanson Walk at Home DVD kit. This sold for um, $45 and free shipping. And it was purchased at the Goodwill bins for $0.49. Cents. Um, I will tell you, um, like the Beach Body um, DVDs and stuff, I have heard that those are something that will get pulled from eBay and you can get in trouble for listing them. I'm guessing this one's kind of almost vintage, so you're probably okay and safe, but I can't say 100%. But just be careful um, that you don't get a listing violation listing like the beach body stuff. All right, this is a handmade mixed media art book, National Museum. Huh. Again, something I probably would have walked right past. And it's, I mean, it's cool. I'm still not clear on what it is. It, I mean, wow. Okay, so this came from a library store, which is cool. Never sourced at a library store, but this was at $3 and it sold for $70 with $11.20 shipping. All right, these were purchased at the Goodwill bins for approximately $2, sold for $39.87 plus shipping. I think it's just like wall art. Yeah, wall hangings, um, MCM Harle Harlequin, cannot say that word, jesters, musicians, and it says Burwood Products. I'm going to zoom in on the back here so you can see. So yeah, nice little bolo there. Okay, so this is an Andrew Women's leather, leather Raccoon Fur Hood. Now, this is a hood that zips onto a coat, okay? So I was very shocked by this one. This sold for $25 plus shipping, and the seller picked it up at the Goodwill bins for 75 cents. I would not have picked that up. I would not have found value in that, but obviously maybe it's because it's raccoon fur. I don't know. Oh, it does say leather raccoon fur. So is this, maybe this is leather up here. So maybe somebody's gonna use it to make something out of it. That could be, I didn't realize that this part was leather. So that's cool. All right, so this is a fitted queen sheet. Is this a huge bolo? No, but I just want to tell you that sheets sell. So this was from the Goodwill. Um, actually, I pulled up the wrong one. I don't know what this one was. I'm going to skip this one because the napkins, I was supposed to pull up the napkins and I put in I accidentally pulled up the sheet. So we're going to skip that one. Sorry, guys. Um, MCM retractable swag lamp. Super cool. You can see it here. This was from the Goodwill bins, approximately $2. Or maybe this was just a $2 item. Because um, maybe I know that the, she'd mentioned that the bedding and stuff like that was $2. I'm not sure about the lamps. But some of the bigger items are just a set price because this would weigh more than um, what it would be for $2. So I'm guessing this was just a $2 item. This sold for $100 plus shipping. Next item here is this Mark's Johnny or Jane West Thunderbolt Palomino Horse. 
And this sold for $49.49. And it says shipping was $24, so I don't know where it was going. But uh, maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it was an international sale. But purchased at the Goodwill bins for a dollar. All right, so this is the string cheese incident group signed autograph cd case only okay so this is just a cd case this is not a the cd is not in it just a case and this sold for forty dollars and fifty cents it was purchased at the goodwill bins for 25 cents and this one did have free shipping okay Diablo 2 video game soundtrack CD 2000 Blizzard. I have no idea anything about this. This came from the Goodwill Bins for 49 cents and it sold for best offer of $37 with free shipping. Okay, so this silver turquoise bolo tie sold for, let's see. I guess on this it says number eight. So number eight mine is the important thing. Turquoise mines have different patterns of stone. So I don't know how she looked up that it was a number eight, but um, that's pretty cool. But I guess that's what's bringing value to this. So not every turquoise and silver bolo tie is gonna go for this much. Um, this sold for $90 with free shipping and it came from the Goodwill bins, 25 cents. All right. This is my favorite. This is amazing. This came from the Goodwill bins, approximately $10. Um, it was based on weight. I do believe, um, she ended up taking a best offer of $300 on this. Um, had it listed at 540 took a best offer of 300 plus shipping she said that she probably could have held out and got between 700 and 1200 but uh, you know just kind of felt like she wanted to give back to someone who needed it i mean she paid 10 bucks for it she's flipping it for 300 somebody who needs it is getting it i think that's amazing so definitely definitely a cool item and something to be on the lookout for all right, guys, again, if you want to be featured, you can join my Facebook below and message me. And it's a super fun way to get exposure to your store and it's kind of like a little time capsule for what sold during a certain period of time because these videos stay put so you can look back on them and you can share them with your friends. So if you want to be featured, let me know. And thanks for watching and have an awesome day.